There's a trend in motorcycling that I just simply cannot abide anymore. Riders are out here doing one of the most unspeakable things I can think of. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's the number one point of contact for control and feel on your motorcycle. Still can't guess what it is? Well, it's riding without wearing your motorcycle gloves. And frankly, guys, it's inexcusable. I saw it a bunch when I was traveling international, and I'm seeing it more and more here in Austin, Texas, where I live. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about motorcycle gloves, where to find cheap ones, and why it's super important that you wear them. Let's get into it. Why wear motorcycle gloves at all? Well, there's five good reasons. The first is protecting yourself from a fall. If you remember when you were younger and you were running around or skateboarding or bicycling, whenever you come off at a decent amount of speed, the first first inclination you have is to put your hands down and try to protect yourself. And I'm sure you remember those scraped palms and busted up fingers you had when you were a kid. You don't want to try that when you're coming off of a motorcycle at 40, 50, or even 60 miles per hour because guess what? You will probably not have a hand anymore. So it's super important to wear these to protect yourself from a fall, but there's many other reasons too. Protecting yourself from flying debris on the road is a big issue as well. When you're out on your motorcycle riding around, there's lots of stuff that can get kicked up from vehicles in front of you like rock, gravel, sand, or any other type of things, or even bugs. I've had giant grasshoppers hit my hand and I'm really glad that I was wearing gloves and didn't get pelted on my knuckles by some insane bug going at 80 miles per hour. So protecting yourself from debris is very important. Protecting yourself from the elements of the weather is also very important. While you're out riding, if it gets colder and you don't anticipate the cold weather, your fingers will lock up very, very quickly. Ask me how I know. Even wearing a regular summer glove like this one over here in colder weather is gonna make your fingers lock up. So having the right protection against weather is a big deal while you're out riding your motorcycle. One way that gloves help you out is one that Harley riders are probably familiar with. It's the vibrations from your motorcycle. Having a little bit of a layer between your hand and the handlebars, depending on how old or vibrational your motorcycle is, can be a much more comfort inducing thing while you're out on your motorcycle. The last point I wanna make is to wear gloves to protect your grip. While you're riding your motorcycle, you wanna make sure that your grip is firm on your throttle, your front brakes, your clutch, and your other handlebar as well. Now that you know why you should wear gloves, let's look over the type of gloves that is gonna fit your riding style. In terms of styles of gloves, one glove that I wanted to gloss over very quickly are fingerless gloves. I don't think you should consider these for riding motorcycles at all. Those are definitely more for bicycles, and even then, probably not. So let's start off on dirt gloves. So this glove that I have over here is 100% kind of dual sport glove, very thin. The thing you need to know about dirt gloves is that they are designed for maximum flexibility, breathability, and grip to the motorcycle. When you're riding off-road on a motocross track or trails, the bike is moving around a lot, you're doing jumps, you're going over rocks and logs, you want total control over this bike in a slower speed kind of way. Also, when you fall off-road, you don't have to slide on pavement. You're usually on soft dirt or grass or something like that. So the demands of an off-road glove are very different than the demands of a street glove. Your entry-level street glove is gonna have a lot of things in terms of impact protection, slide protection, and comfort as well. Something like this EVS Valencia glove, which is actually one of the best-selling gloves on our store, has a lot of that for a low price as well. You've got basic impact protection, comfort features, breathability, all that good stuff and impact protection along the knuckles as well, which is something you're gonna to wanna to take a look at whenever you're purchasing a motorcycle glove. Moving on to the next level of kind of short cuffed street motorcycle gloves, you have stuff like the NYC from EVS as well. You can see this has a lot more impact protection, has a smart touch on the thumb over here so you can use your cellular device. You have carbon fiber protection over here. This is now featuring cowhide as well. The other glove we looked like was just using a textile material. Once you move on up, you start seeing materials that are becoming more exotic, cowhide, all sorts of things. As we move on to the race and sport categories and adventure categories, you're gonna see different materials being used as well. You have something like this Alpine Stars SMX Air V1 over here as well. It's blending the leather and the textile, providing you a lot of comfort and features for a summer riding glove. And the big thing you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself is what kind of riding am I going to be doing? Which is something we're gonna cover later in this video as well. And fear not, gloves come in a variety of styles as well, so you don't have to get yourself some super sporty race glove if you're riding a cool scrambler or retro bike. You have stuff like this Monster 4SR glove where you have still the kind of old school leather pattern perforated impact protection, so you can still find a great glove that's gonna look and match the feel of your motorcycle. 
So when you think about the demands of long distance riding, adventure riding, and those sorts of things, you're often talking about changes in climate, changes in weather, changes in temperature, and that's where something like an adventure glove is really gonna come in handy. Something that has breathability, can be modulated to include something to cover it up for colder weather, has impact protection, and is cuffed as well. As you start moving up on the glove kind of ladder, you're gonna start seeing more cuffing, more features, more benefits, and this Revit Sand 4 is kind of an apex predator adventure glove. But the big thing I wanna point out is that if you're gonna be riding in much colder climates, it's gonna make sense to get a glove that is suited for that. So this is actually my personal cold set of gloves from Alpine Stars, and I just used this when I was in India, and it absolutely saved my butt. So a cold weather glove is gonna have an insulating cuff over here. You can see that it has this material to actually tighten and cinch the glove so the air can't get in or out. No perforation, meaning that the glove is going to stay nice and warm as well. Having a cold set of gloves in your backpack or your tail bag when you're doing a super long distance kind of sprint is going to be the best option for you. Last up, I wanted to mention the super sport and hyper sport and kind of race category of gloves. I really personally think that this is a little bit of overkill for the street. I think if you're the everyday commuter, kind of going to work, bopping around with your friends, a short cut glove is the way to go but if you want the extra protection if you're a canyon carver and everyday track day warrior kind of guy getting something that as the uh, higher end materials you know these things have kangaroo leather stingray leather all kinds of different leathers to provide for different levels of feel and protection as well as different features to keep the pinky and the ring fingers together more articulation more protection as you move up on the chain, you're just seeing better and better features. Whenever you get up to a proper race glove, like I have here, this 4SR, and this is similar to a Tai Chi set of gloves I use when I'm racing and I'm on track. This has super big protection here on the knuckles, really good palm protection, all kinds of features on this bad boy. But again, this is kind of overkill unless you are racing motorcycles or you're going out to the track very, very frequently with your motorcycle. I don't really think that this is necessary for your everyday commuting kind of riding. But that begs the question, what should you be asking yourself when you're thinking about getting a motorcycle glove? Well, glad you asked. So you gotta ask yourself, what type of motorcycle riding will you be doing? Will you be doing lots of track days and canyon carving? Are you gonna be doing some dual sport riding? Or maybe you're just cruising around town trying to go to work and back. The first thing you need to ask yourself is what kind of riding you're gonna be doing because not every glove is gonna fit every need. You'll also have to ask yourself, how many hours do you plan on riding on average? Are you doing super long distances where comfort's gonna be prioritized? Or are you doing 30 minutes on time at a track? So make sure you ask yourself how many hours you're gonna be putting in the saddle before considering what glove you're gonna need. You need to ask yourself if you're gonna be riding in cold and crappy weather or are you just a fair weather rider? That's also going to inform the type of glove you're gonna get because then you could get something that's all perforated and nice and grippy or you're gonna need something that's gonna be able to brave the elements a little bit better. Probably the most important question you need to ask yourself is are you gonna be riding on-road, off-road or both with these gloves? Both of those kind of ridings have very different demands placed on the glove. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the glove you get can fit your needs. As we mentioned, an off-road glove in a trail or motocross environment needs a lot of articulation, whereas an on-road glove needs a lot more slide protection. And then a dual sport glove is gonna kind of split the difference between the two the best it can. But I highly recommend having one set of off-road gloves and one set of on-road gloves if you're the type of rider that likes to dip your toes in both. You also need to ask yourself, what is your riding style? Are you more of an aggressive rider or you'd really just like to take it easy? I think that if you're a more aggressive rider, you're a canyon carver and you like taking a little bit more risks, let's just be honest here, you should probably get a set of gear that matches well. Beyond gloves, get yourself a full suit too. I'm not gonna hurt anything doing that. If you're that kind of risky rider, I really recommend getting a full gauntlet glove and something with a lot of impact and slide protection. But if you're a cruiser kind of rider that's just going to and back from work, a short cuff glove that is perforated with leather and a little bit of impact protection is gonna be more than enough. Your budget really matters as well. Just because you have three, four, five hundred dollars available to spend on a set of gloves doesn't mean that you might necessarily need to spend that amount of money. If you want to treat yourself, go ahead, go crazy. But you got to make sure that your glove is fitting your use case as well. Again, just because you can spend three hundred dollars on a race glove doesn't mean it makes a lot of sense to use on the everyday. You might be better off spending one hundred and twenty to one hundred and fifty dollars on a great set of touring gloves that are going to fit your needs much better. So make sure you keep in mind your budget when you're buying gloves. Final point I wanna make, and if you get nothing away from this video, it is this point right now. The fit matters so 
much. It doesn't matter how protective your gloves are if the fit isn't there. If you're articulating on your motorcycle and you're hitting the brake lever, touching the throttle, hitting the clutch, you want to make sure that you have perfect fit on your motorcycle gloves. If they're too loose, they're going to get bunched up and cause improper control on your motorcycle. If they're too tight, you're not going to be able to squeeze your levers in an adequate way. So whatever you do, whatever glove you decide to get, make sure that your fit is just about perfect. And keep in mind, when you buy a brand new set of gloves, they're going to need a little bit of time to break in. So give them the chance over the couple days that you buy them to break in and become nice and soft for all of your motorcycling needs. All right, folks, let's end this trend of people not wearing their gloves while they're out there riding their motorcycle. If you or someone you know is out there riding without gloves, hit the link down below to shop.yamity.co. Get one of our amazing EVS, NYC, or Aston gloves. We also sell gloves from Revit and Alpine Stars as well. Make sure you check all that out in the description below and tell them to wear freaking motorcycle gloves. It is so dangerous to be riding around not wearing gloves. And if you lose your hands or your fingers, you're not going to have a good time in life. Let me tell you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know. Maybe leave me a comment down below about how you much you hated it as well, too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.